Hey guys, welcome back to this another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this glass morphism card and animate them in Adobe XD. And first, I've searched a lot of credit card designs, but I found this one minimal and nice, so I've planned to use this style. So without any delay, let's get started. Make sure to download the project file to follow along this tutorial and link is in the description to download the project file. First, open the project file and create an artboard of 1080 into 1080 pixels. Change its background color to black and select the ellipse tool and draw a circle by holding Alt plus Shift. And the circle should cover most of the artboard like this. Remove the border and change its color type to radial gradient and here change the outer color to black and reduce the circle's opacity to 10% H. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. And make sure it is in the center of the artboard. Change its corner radius to 36 pixels and change the border styles. Now check the background blur option and adjust its value to bring the glass effects. Rename the card. Open the library panel and bring the apple icon into the artboard. Change the position and reduce its opacity to 70%. Using text tool, write a name then apply the character style from the library panel and reduce the opacity to 70% Now bring the chip icon to the artboard and reduce its capacity too. and select all elements and group them and rename the group. Using ellipse tool, draw two circles and apply the colors from the library panel. Now bring the car to the front. Select the artboard and duplicate using Ctrl plus D. Here we are going to create the back side of the car so remove the unwanted elements.
change the text and its style. Now bring the MasterCard symbol into the artboard. Rename the group name and card name. And reduce the symbol's opacity to 70%. Using text tool, write master card and apply the character style from the library panel Then reduce the opacity to 70% Draw a rectangle at the bottom of the card and change its styles. Now copy the back card and paste it onto the first artboard and place it below the first card. Enable 3D transform then change the card's Z value to 1. Select the back card change its Z value to minus 1. X rotation value to 180 degree and change its opacity to 0. Simply copy the front card and paste it onto the second artboard. Change its Z value to minus 1. and X rotation value to minus 180 degree. Select the back card and change its Z value to 1. And reduce the front card's opacity to 0. Now switch over to the prototype mode. Create a tap trigger from the front card Change the type to auto animate, easing to easing out and duration to 0.8 second. Select the back card and create a tap trigger with the same settings. Now click preview to see the outcome. Here we go, you can adjust the background blur to make the card more glassy. Thanks for watching this tutorial, that's all for today's video people. Also I want to thank all of you guys for supporting me, for the record I reached 100 subscribers last month. Drop a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and please don't forget to share it with your designer friends. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and links to my social media are in the description below. See you all next year as this video is the last for this year. So in advance wishing you all a happy new year, stay safe and healthy.